Here come the Gators trying to extend their home winning streak to 13. The Buckeye team lost several players to World War II. Of course, LSU lost a lot of players to the NFL draft after their 15 0 season of a year ago. Suspensions, opt outs. It's been a very difficult year. He wants to go with the football. He's thrown at least three touchdown passes in every game this season, all nine. He's going deep. Has a man open. It's the senior, Kadarius Tony, dragged down by Cordell. Cordell flop. They swing it out. Damian Pierce, the running back, chopped down after a 70 30 instead of 50 50 <laughs> run pass. And there's the old Tim Tebow play, and it got batted out of the air. Looked like it was going to be a quarterback. This in it running back now. They give it to him, and that beleaguered LSU defense rises to the occasion. It's Jacoby Stevens leading the way again. Mobile than TJ Finley, who started the last five games. That could be helpful against the pressure defenses of Florida. He throws on the run, just a short completion. Nowhere near the first down for Jer Malik Davis is the running back to start this possession. Big hit after the catch was made by. After review, targeting defense number 25. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Number 25 is disqualified for the remainder of the game. Eli Ricks injured on that same play in which Flott was ejected. He's out. Those are their top three corners starting the night. Flott plays a lot of nickel. Here's Malik Davis. Shoved out of bounds at the six-yard line by Jacoby Stevens. Two without Flott. Who knows what's going on with Ricks. We'll try to get a report. Trask in the flat. And caught by Justin Shorter, the transfer in the first three games. And then he was injured. They've had to play true freshman quarterbacks ever since. Third down and goal. Trash says, I'll do it myself this time. Touchdown, his first rushing touchdown of the season. See, that's what I thought we would see in their first time down there. Very nice job, little power. Not a particularly fast runner. But he got into the end zone. And the extra point up and good for Evan Mc... So again, starting from the 25, or this time starting for the 25, much better than the one last time for Max Johnson. He shows that running ability we talked about. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, they are. There's Ty Davis Price. Cross midfield to the... One of their best dynamic pass rushers for the Gator. Design quarterback draw. Johnson turns the corner, has another first down. And Talking about two guys that, that are, will be first and second round draft picks. Nice throw by Johnson on target for a first down. And a nice drive. Come off the bench to play in four of the last five games, including the last two against AM and Alabama. Straight ahead, Ty Davis Price, James Houston. Second and goal, Max Johnson throws back oh, in the end zone. Touch. Caught for a touchdown by Jeray Jenkins. This is beautiful touch by Brad Johnson over. Let's go, tempo. Let's go, let's go. He, he just, he's in complete control right now. 75 yard drive engineered by Max. They hand it off in short yardage, and Kadarius Tony's driven back. Tried a little trick play, a little inside hand. By the effort of this undermanned LSU yes, team, absolutely. losing players left and right. It's been a really disappointing season. And yet they have come out here with a lot of fight tonight. 23 point underdogs. Another strike by Max Tackle Spot where you protect the blind side, the back side, but he needs to do a better job of it. Here comes a blitz. Johnson saw it coming, got it off quickly to Jontre Kirkland. It's, it's, it's an amazing uh, play so far. Big hole, Malik Davis right through the middle of that defense and finally run down inside the LSU 40. Bo Pliny said he's 
Very smart. Psychology graduate. Here's an interception by Eli Ricks, injured earlier, but back out there now. And he's going to go all the way for an LSU touchdown. Hot dogs a bit on the way in. And here's Booz as a result, but LSU with a pick six to take the lead. The end zone, but LSU still managed to score. The extra point is good. And for 50 yards they've given up. It's just really crushed them. Nifty move. Boy, Kadarius Tony refusing to go down and finally tackled from behind after he crossed midfield. There's Harvin played here at Florida. Handed off to Tony quite often. Trask is sacked way back in Gator territory near the 40 yard line. Jaquela. Trask throwing deep, man behind the defense wow. and caught. Beautiful throw by Trask to hit. Trask on first and 10. Throws to the sideline, batted around. Is that an interception in bounds? At least for the moment, it appears it is for Jay Ward. The, the question is the difference. Is an interception by the defense. And I think that's going to be overturned. At this point, long way to go here in the swamp. Still 9.45 to go in the first half. On third and seven, Max Johnson incomplete. Trying to hit the slant to John Trey Kirk. I wonder if he might want to get dressed at the half. Kyle Pitts, outstanding tight end. There's Trayvon Grimes, wide open. If you asked earlier, is this, you know, they just want to keep him fresh right. for Alabama in the SEC title game next week, thinking they could beat LSU without him. And the whole team is playing like they think they can beat LSU without playing their best. Quick strike to yeah. the two interceptions. The most he's thrown in a game. Last time he threw two was back in 2019. He's on target again to Kader. Defenders around him in the slot. No Kyle Pitts. Bo Pelini blitzes. Trash throws it away out of the back of the end zone. Well, again, it's. Came in in that goal line situation in the first half was going to kick a short field goal, but after a penalty made it even a shorter yard to make. They went for the now for Max Johnson on third and eight. Florida will come up with some kind of pressure. They bring five. Johnson spun around, cannot escape. Avoided a loss, but Zachary Carter clinched the winning season. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt are the real deal. Yes, they are. First time winning year since 2007. Kyle Trask to Jacob. Football in those critical situations. Dan Mullen talks a lot about situational football. They work on it regularly. Trask on target. They convert on third and five. Tony wants much more. Boy, is he a hard guy to get down. Tremendous balance. And he's down just shy of the 20. How to coach in one year. I think the same would apply to Bo Pelini. Four man rush. Trask steps up, has a man. Touchdown. Jacob Copeland, who took advantage of the freshman McLaughlin in there because Derek Stingley could. So the Gators take the lead on the third touchdown catch of the year for the sophomore from Pensacola. I don't know that for a fact, but I would guess that it is. So, Another nice looking pass by Johnson. Chase and Marshall among the wide receiving core who could stretch them deep. Johnson given a Good nice pocket on target for a first down to Keisha Butte to the 40. DC school does a better job of recruiting Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Max Johnson, man wide open. It's a touchdown for Keisha Butte. Well, this is the break they needed. The throw down the field. Butte is wide open. He's just running a go. Four point advantage for the Tigers with 33 seconds to go in the half. And he does. That one went for 17 yards, but Evan McPherson has a big leg, and at the very least, they can get him the field goal range with another completion. That could be a fumble. the ball. That is 
there's a live ball. And it is scooped up by LSU's B.J. Ojolari. Now it pops out and rolls out of bounds. Ray Thorne, time to quarterback. Quentin Skinner, the snapper. They do their job well, and that one could not be more right down the middle with a little baby draw. This A&M sitting there with one loss, and they beat you head to head. Yeah. He said, "Well, I think being the SEC champ would trump that." I don't agree with that. Yeah, you kind of looked at him sideways, and I. When he looked back and saw his quarterback, he's got to adjust and go with him. Johnson had nowhere to throw the ball. Johnson hit as he throws, but has his man. It's Jeray Jenkins weaving through the defense, and at least in a. Mm -hmm. One impressive drive to open the half for LSU. Davis Price slicing through for about eight more. Would this be a Max Johnson quarterback draw some such thing? No, it's a throw and it's dropped. Probably wasn't going to be a touchdown anyway. And Trey Bradford and again, the dead center. And the line drive kick is good. Of Alabama both do that exceptionally well. Going deep again and running under it is Tony. Pushed down and out of bounds. They'll mark him at the 11 yard line. Trask, a little screen to the right. Damian Pierce. It's belted down just shy of the goal line. It looks like he got a first down. It'll be the of Trask to run. There's his first rushing touchdown of the season tonight. He lunges and has his second rushing touchdown of the season, both tonight. Count bowl game stats, working through three more. In the sugar. Five man rush. Max Johnson swung down by Ventrell Miller, the blitzing linebacker. Stable condition. And certainly our thoughts and prayers have been with him all day. All of a sudden. Yep. And he took care of business very quickly on the last drive, scoring a touchdown in four plays. Still down by three. Trask. Man open! Jacob Copeland tripped up, or he was on his way to the end zone. Exploits it. 40 yard gain. Back to the run with Malik Davis. We saw an interesting situation on the LSU side. Really couldn't afford any more losses no. to the roster, and they've had several here tonight. Malik Davis bounced off the hit. Poor tackling. And it's a first and goal down at the ninth. And being able to block in the screen game and the quick game. Jay Ward costly missed tackle for LSU. Swung out wide. Kadarius Tony puts Florida back on top. For Kadarius Tony on senior night. Six catches for 140 yards. The opt outs in the last couple of weeks of Terrace Marshall and Eric Gilbert. Chris Curry up the middle, lowers his head and gets about 13. He's near. Thaddeus Moss do that a lot last year. We're going to stay on this camera for a better look without the fog, and it's Boutte with the catch. We think from where we are. Guarding right guard has not come back, so it's still Cameron Wire there. On third and goal with a man right in his face. Johnson on target for a touchdown to Trey Bradford. His first career touchdown. He's a true freshman out of Dallas. He had touched the ball for four yards. We have our fifth lead change of the night. Cade York, the extra point. Davis for a total of seven yards. Third down and three. Trask over the middle and incomplete. Trying to get it to Keon Zipperer. 
We see what you did there, Matt. Johnson to the sideline has a man open. The defenders on the ground. Jeray Jenkins weaves across midfield and goes to the floor by the running back Williams. Third down and seven. Probably not in range for a field goal try. And the pass is dropped by Trey Bradford. A little swing outs on offense. They've run only 18 plays in this half to 42 for LSU. They start on the run. Here's Kadarius Tony having a big night and that continues fighting his way across the 45 yard line Eli Rip passing here in the fourth quarter for three yards in the fog has a man open here comes Tony again yanked down at the LSU 39 155 receiving yards tonight is a career high Set the high last week against Tennessee. Another deep throw, and it's Copeland pulled down inside the 10. Ricks prevented the touchdown, but 340 to go. Number six, Florida down by three. Trask steps up, avoids a sack. He's going to try to take off and run, and he got walloped. Jacoby Stevens low, and Andre Anthony just in the country. 31-yard try to tie it as we go under three minutes to go. And it is good. Another 17,000 fans here making a lot of noise. Approaching two minutes to go. In the flat. Can Cole Taylor get there? No, nowhere near the line to make. Try to go up and over and could not escape from Marco Wilson and Trevez Johnson. Is there a flag down? After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 11 of the defense, throwing the LSU player's shoe 20 yards down the field. I think I've ever heard an official announce throwing a player's shoe. Well, it and wasn't it wasn't 11. 11, it was Marco Wilson. Neither team using its timeouts yet on this final drive. Max Johnson, nice call and well executed. Sean, that was one of the worst penalties to use the timeout. This kid has a big leg. Four out of five from 50 plus this year. They are going to try to throw it, but it's a tackle inbounds. Got to run them out now. Yeah, and it's uh, Alabama. This looks like it's going to be 57. Breeze not a factor. This is for the lead in the final 30 seconds. Career long 53, snap and hold are good. Did he get all of that? It's right down the middle, and it is good! From 57 yards, LSU takes off coverage right now in front of Kyle Trask. Just a three-man rush thrown over the middle, almost hit the official. That's Kadarius Toney down in bound. And Kyle Trask still has one timeout, so no matter where the ball's complete, he's good. And still just a three-man rush, he pulls it down. Juggling catch made by Tony. Position to tie it and force overtime. You saw the updated numbers on his percentage with the two for two tonight. This is to send it to overtime. From 51, it is hooking. It is no good! Barely wide to the left. Florida is upset by LSU in the swamp. What a win for the Tigers. In a